I'm SirTapTap, and what the heck are these orders all about? So, the delivery orders menu is something that was initially a little bit confusing to me. Um, so, basically what you do, we actually got our delivery just finished here. So let's get our reward there. Pretty early on, you unlock one of these bikes, and you can pay money, uh, gold, to unlock up to three bikes, and eventually money becomes not an issue. Early on, it might seem very expensive, but it's not really a big deal to go and buy them. Uh, you can upgrade the bikes to reduce delivery time, which you don't really cut off a lot of delivery time. Deliveries take like an hour, and you cut off like 30 seconds per level, I think. Um, the main incentive to level up, honestly, is that you get some um, player level points here. And eventually, you know, you'll have a fair amount of level up materials, especially for the early levels. It's just kind of something to sink your materials into, as uh, once you have, like, got to the point that your restaurant is not begging for materials. Which, early on it will, but later on, you'll find that you have more materials than you know what to do with. Uh, mostly because the restaurant ends up being gated by, you know, unlocking fame levels. Uh, so... Once we have our bike, I forget which level it is exactly, I'm sorry. I, um, but if you search for this video, you probably <laughs> have already unlocked it. Anyway, what deliveries are, are these little icons, and each map has its own deliveries. So, like, you start off in Gloryville, and uh, we already have an active delivery going on in Gloryville. So, let's go to the Light Kingdom, and let's satisfy this delivery here. Oh my, she's a greedy one. So... You click the little question mark icon, and it shows you what you get. You get a perfect treasure, which gives you, um... The perfect treasure will give you either a coffee shard, a plum juice shard, or, uh, vodka and steak shards. Steak is not listed in here for some reason, but whenever you get a vodka shard, you seem to get a steak shard as well. So, perfect treasures are pretty good to get. Um, you also get some fame for your restaurant and some cooking points. So, deliveries are pretty good to do. They take an hour, and it's good to have, in order to, you know, send out all three bikes, it's very good to have multiple teams unlocked. You unlock three teams as you just, you know, play through the game and level up. You get three more slots by paying diamonds, and I would say it's one of the best uses for diamonds. Diamonds, or magic gems, or crystals, whatever this currency is here. The game actually calls you three different things, so that's helpful. Um, but anyway, let's serve this very greedy order, by the way. So, one of the great things about this game, by the way, if you need an item, tap the icon of the item. It tells you what it is, it tells you what you need to do to get it, it, it gives you buttons to go directly where you need to go. So I need to make some carrot bread. Fortunately, I already have some items to make carrot bread. So I'm just gonna make one of those. Also, you can't use exquisite items for, the, uh, for deliveries because they're used for feeding your food souls or fondness. But, uh, so if you accidentally make an exquisite one, it can be a little frustrating sometimes. But, uh, looks like that wasn't a problem there. And I'm just gonna pretend that I don't have enough eggs. So if you didn't have enough eggs, you can actually click the icon. It says go to level 5-2. So let's go, let's go to level 5-2. And we can just do a sweep real quick. And we got an egg. So yeah, the game is actually really helpful in that you can just click from almost any menu, you click a thing, and it'll tell you how to get that thing. It'll tell you what it does. It's really useful. So if you haven't figured that out yet, um, you're welcome for learning about that. And so this, the receipts, by the way, this is a currently ongoing event. So by the time you watch this video, that might no longer be a thing. So just ignore that. Um, so once we have our food, you can send out a delivery. Uh, I tend to avoid sending off my best combat team. I don't know why that got cancelled. tend to avoid sending out my best combat team, but uh, let's ship off these guys right here. Set them onto delivery. And now you can check the status in this menu. And oh, they've got 44 minutes here. And once they're done, you can receive the order through here. And there you go. So deliveries are pretty simple. One important thing to know about deliveries is that there's public deliveries and private deliveries. Private deliveries are only for you, and they refresh pretty frequently. There'll almost always be one on the map. Uh, looks like I finished my last one for now, but it'll tell you in this menu where the, yeah, five minutes for the next wave of private orders. They spawn pretty quickly. Private orders only use your local cuisine. 
So in this research menu, there's different kinds of cuisine. Um, so like, I'm from the Light Kingdom, so it'll be one of these dishes. It'll never be a quote unquote lost kingdom, lost cuisine recipe. Um, and the other kind of orders are public orders. There's three waves of public orders every day and they're pretty hard. They require three of each meal, up to three different meals, and they exclusively require uh, lost cuisine items. So what you can do to prepare for public orders, even though you won't know exactly what they require, they'll always require a lost kingdom. So if you just stockpile at least three of every single lost kingdom item, you'll be able to do at least one public order. Now, public orders do this really annoying thing where the first 800 people to fulfill the order get extra treasure chests, and everybody else doesn't get any treasure chests. So, let me fast forward to fulfilling a public order. Alright, so public orders are just about to pop up now. Public orders, you really have to be here ahead of time. Um, they come at the same three times every day, and if you're in my Discord server, there's actually a reminder thing that tells you exactly when public notices are going to come come along. Uh, there's also a lot of side quests that require you to fill public orders, which is, that's what these are. So in just a second, they'll pop up on screen. They should appear in real time. There was a bug earlier on in the game where they did not pop up correctly at the right time, and everybody missed them because of that, because the scary thing about public orders is that it's basically everybody in the server, which there's only one server, racing for 800 rewards. And it clears out in about two minutes. So once these pop up, I'll have about two minutes at most. And I'll probably, I usually fail at least one because I'm at a point where um, they require an ingredient that I can't easily get. Oh, here we go. So, oh, so I just need to go here and sweep. I'm going to waste a little bit more stamina than I would like, but I tend to just do whatever I can here. So I'm going to make lots of these. So, like I said before, these are always going to be lost ingredients. So, it's really, this, this, the feature where you can click and go to the thing to get the item, that is, like, absolutely vital here. So I'm going to make that delivery. As you can see, we get extra chests for this. So can I do this one? So look at that. It's been less than a minute. Already we've lost 250. Um... So you're gonna sweep this. So this is where sweep comes in major handy because it would be, if you did manual fights for all of those things, um, you would absolutely every time lose. Um, to make some garlic oysters, and what you should kind of do is just have food truck is busy. Oh no! Calm down, macaroon. Um. All right. So I'm just gonna cancel this order. Canceling orders, you get your food back. You don't, you lose a, like two points of fame, which is not a big deal. Um, so I'm not gonna get this last one just because I don't wanna cancel another order, unless I have all the things for it. It's gonna be so close, I don't know. Oh, you suck the butt. So that's another annoying thing that can happen. Um, exquisite meals don't count for these. So I just accidentally made one. It's completely random, you have no control over that. Um, See, I'm probably not going to make the, uh, the deadline. Let's see. So now I have the food. 100. All right, you know what? I'm going to cancel this delivery, which is such a shame. But these are, like, way more valuable. Can I do it? Can I do it in time? 49. 49. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. I did it. So that's... It's now 2 past 8. Two minutes. And... As the time I'm saying this, I can guarantee that the last order has gone out. It's been already completely gone, so... That's how fast public orders go. It's insane. Why... why are they so squeaky? There's, there's so many characters, and I like the characters, but they're so squeaky. Anyway, that's how public orders work. The public orders are the big ones with the red countdown. You can still complete public orders um, after, after the... You know, after the timer counts down, you just don't get the chests. Um, you get no chests, but you do get extra fame. So they're still worth doing um, to a degree. They're just less so. Um, also, for the current event that gives you receipts 
for doing orders. Um, public orders, despite being much harder, they don't give you an extra seat, so that's kind of a shame. But whatever. So yeah, I filled out all three public orders. Public orders do have longer delivery times. Um, but they're pretty worth it. They give you 50 fame each. And they might upgrade, because I noticed that um, as I went on, sometimes I get six chests out of the public orders instead of four, which is what I always got before. So it seems like they get more worth it over time. And generally, you're going to miss public orders. I managed to get all three in, and you saw how close that was. It's actually... Let me double check. You can check to make sure you're going to get your actual rewards here. Um, for... Oh, I got it. There was no six chest ones, but oh well. Um, but yeah, I actually got all three, and you can see how, how clutch that was. That was... I was not prepared. Um, what you can do is go in here and just prepare three of each thing. I just didn't have the stamina to do that. Uh, you tend to... Late game between the airship and the the things, you tend to run out of stamina fairly easy. Kind of surprised this game doesn't give you stamina upon level up, but oh well. So that's pretty much all there is to know about orders. Uh, you even got to see me cancel an order, which I wasn't initially intending to do. Oops. Oh, speaking of cancel an order, you can reject, you can flat out say, nah, I don't want to do this order. It deducts two points of fame, which, you know, you only get four points of fame for doing one of these orders. Um, but if you wanted to reject it and, you know, you're like, oh man, I don't want to give, get rid of my braised pork. I mean, this is a pretty bad order. Three meals for one chest isn't the best deal, but I tend to not reject them, you know. It doesn't tend to be worth it. Um, sometimes you can get a regular non-public order that gives you two chests. Yeah, like this one right here. But uh, I can't do this one because I'm doing the three public orders. You never get more than three slots for the bikes, by the way. Even though you can get up to six teams, you'll never have more than three bikes. So, yeah. Also, as you unlock more areas, you can only do one public order per area. Um, which only really matters up to Nervas, because even if you got Sakurajima, uh, you know, you're not gonna get, you can't send out four orders because there's no four bikes. But it would still be nice to do that because that, you know, maybe you couldn't finish one in Gloryville, but you could finish all three if it included that, you know, the other thing. Which, by the way, what, what do you think each country, this is like a total tangent, what do you think each country is supposed to represent? Light Kingdom is, seems pretty obviously China, you know, they've even got the Great Wall kind of going on. Sakurajima, obviously Japan. Nervas? I'm thinking maybe Russia? It's, it's cold. Obviously that's the defining feature of Russia, and Gloryville just kind of seems like Western stuff in general. I don't know, it's kind of got the European castle thing going on. I don't know. I mean, they might not all necessarily intend to be specific regions, but Light Kingdom and Shikurajima just really seem very clearly, you know, China and Japan. Anyway, hopefully that helps, uh, helps you with your orders. I've got a whole bunch of these different videos, so check out the other ones if you want to. There'll be a playlist at the end card coming up in just a second.